surprise for you. Are you ready? Set. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. Carolina is wearing this costume because we're going to learn today about the armor of God. The armor of God is like a special powers, invisible powers that we imagine put it in every day to help us against the enemy or against the devil and to help us also to do the right thing instead of the bad things. The devil wants us to mess up and do things that God doesn't want us to do. He might get you interested in violent video games and TV shows and movies that show people doing bad things and they try to make it look fun. And you might also be pressured by other kids doing things that we know God doesn't want us to do. That's right, Carolina. So a good way to remember how to put our, the armor of God every day is every time that you woke up in the morning or before you go to bed, try to imagine putting that armor on yourself and trying to see yourself fighting against and pray that God give you the understanding that the armor of God is there for you and you are ready to fight your day with that. So now we are going to start with the bell of truth. truth. Yeah! So this is one bell that we wear in the armor of God and the bell of truth means we have to know the truth of the gospel, the truth of what God says about us and what God says about you, about our family, and who is really our God. It's a good father and it's a loving God. So this is the first part, the bell of truth. Let's go to the next part. So the next part is the, the breastplate, breastplate of, of righteousness. Very good. So it's this red part in this costume, but if you ever play hockey, you know that you need to use something that covers from your neck to your tummy to protect your heart and your main organs. So now, how you protect your heart? So if you sin, you have to confess your sins and then ask for forgiveness and say sorry to God. That is a way to protect your heart. Now, the next one will be the sandals of peace. So, you know, Carolina, why are they call the sandals of peace? I don't know. All right. So, sandals of peace, it means that when we wear those sandals, we got the peace of God going with us wherever we go. So, we need to wear shoes in order to keep our feet healthy and no sore or get any hurt in our feet. So now we wear the sandals of peace to remind ourselves that we, if we, have, if we fight with someone or if someone did us wrong, we have to ask for forgiveness or forgive those who hurt us and then walk with the peace of God wherever we go. Now, the next one will be the shield of faith. faith. So imagine, Carolina, if I decide to throw snowballs on you, so what are you doing? You're trying to cover yourself, protecting from those things that we throw. So, yeah, so if the enemy is throwing you things like temptation or doubting God or telling you things like you're not good enough, so you raise that shield of faith and say, no. I know what God says about me. I can do everything to Christ who is strengthening me. So that's how we use it, the shield of faith. Now, one more, Carolina. We have the helmet of salvation. Now, this helmet is not a real helmet, but hat is a pretending one. So whatever we put in our head to protect us is to protect our minds. So sometimes the enemy tried to say, you know what, you cannot think, do things right. So I, you say to yourself with that helmet, 
that protector says no God says I'm a child of God and I can do everything in Christ now next one will be one of my favorite is the sword of the spirit yeah so the sword of the spirit is also the word of God the Bible in this world we have all the things that we need to fight against the enemy so now if the enemy throws something to you you can cut it off and say no that's not what God says about me this is the truth it's in this book and he says I'm love I have peace I have self-control I have power all those things so get ready to cut whatever is not saying the truth about you mm -hmm. so now carolina let's remember all those part of the armor of god so part number one the belt of truth part number two the breastplate of righteousness number three the sandals of peace then we have the shield of faith after that, the, the helmet, helmet of, of salvation. salvation. And then the last one, the sword of the spirit. Now we, we are, are ready, ready to face whatever comes, comes our way. way. There you go. So boys and girls, now let's pray. I'm going to pray this time for all of you and for all of you that needs to remember the armor of God every day. So. Thank you, Lord, for the life of our kids. I ask you, Lord, that you remind them that they have an armor that they can put on and they can fight anything that comes on their way, any light of the enemy, any thoughts that are not coming from you, Lord. And I ask you, Lord, that any weapon against our kids will not prosper. Amen. Amen. Now